Shalom. First and foremost, as always, giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And basically, I have a lesson here lined up through the spirit of the Lord, you know, and uh, I was just at work thinking, you know, through the spirit of how I can edify the body. And I came up with this topic right here. So, um, you know, Lord willing, your brothers are fed. And uh, basically what I'm going to go into is how we're going to be a nation of kingdom of uh, kings and priests. Salakia, we're going to be a nation of kings and priests. OK, and we're going to reign on this earth, Lord willing, we're of that number and the other nations will be subject to the Israelites. All right. Now, we know that there's an order that's going to be established. OK, which is going to be Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right. King David. And then you're going to have the elect. All right. So, you know, we're coming into those times where we have to buckle down. So we can Lord willing be a part of that number. We have to do the things that we have to do. So when the Lord sets up the, when the Lord establishes the, uh, the pecking order, if you will, you know, we want to be a part of that governing body or we want to just be a part of the elect in general, you know, rather it's the, uh, the, the great multitude. Okay. Or the one forty four. All right. We just want to be, ultimately, we just want to be delivered out of here, man. But, the world to come, okay, will be ruled by the children of Israel, all right, starting with the elect, okay, that, that word elect is important, okay, because that means you're of an exclusive number of the house of Israel, that means you have a certain seat or a certain position, okay, and the Lord is going to establish you, man, all right. So this is the book of John, chapter 15 and verse 15. It says, henceforth, I call you not servants. This is Yahweh Shai. For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father. I have made known unto you. All right. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go forth, that ye should go. And bring forth fruit. All right. So Yahweh Shai ultimately chose us. The minute you see out there on the highways and the byways standing firm. The ones that got the call to do this work. The ones that are fighting to be chosen. So like you. Because right now. Right now we're still in our calling. The calling stages. All right. We're, we're going into the stages where. The scriptures say, uh, then they shall know who are my chosen. We're, we're coming into those times, you know, but if you're standing firm and you're doing what you're supposed to do, then that's a good sign that you could be of the elect. That's why we say hopeful elect. All right. So Yahweh Shai chose us. Okay. We didn't wake up one day and say today I'm going to be a Hebrew Israelite. No, man, we the the spirit. Somehow we found the truth. The Lord led us to the knowledge and the spirit jumped on us and we began to learn until we were able to speak. OK, until we were able to, to speak the words of everlasting life. And, and ultimately, if we're chosen, that's going to lead to us being kings and priests and princes on the earth, man. OK, it says, you have not chosen me, but I've chosen you. And ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye ask of the father in my name, he may give it you these things. I command you that ye love one another. OK, so remember, Yahweh Shai chose us. Even like he uh, told Jeremiah in the first the first uh, chapter around the fifth verse, I've chosen you even before. No, Salakia, he said, I, uh, I chose you when thou, when thou were in thy mother's womb, roughly paraphrasing. As a matter of fact, let's get that real quick. 
because we don't want to butcher the scripture. All right, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Okay? And that's the same thing with us, man. The Lord knew us, you know, in the womb. Before he formed us in the womb, we were just a spirit. <laughs> you know, and then he, the, what would the Lord do? He turned that into flesh. You know, at one point, the most High had it to where we will find the truth in our lifetime. But we had to see wickedness so we could appreciate righteousness, man. OK, so he ordained us a prophet unto the, unto the nations, man. And I'm going to get to the point. Uh, I also want to get this in Ephesians real quick. Uh, leave this. OK, Ephesians chapter one, verse five, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. All right. So he, he, the Lord chose us in him before the foundation of the world. Excuse me. All right. That's why it's going into Jeremiah. It says what? Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Okay. So ultimately, I think of what I got here. Second Peter two and nine. Ultimately, Yahweh by Shimi Shai is gonna uh First Peter is gonna make us what a nation of kings and priests, man. Okay? And that's the time that we're waiting on. This is first Peter chapter two and verse nine. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation. A peculiar people, and it says that in Deuteronomy, uh, the seventh chapter or the fourteenth chapter. I believe the fourteenth chapter, it mentions a peculiar people. Okay, or a peculiar, yeah, a peculiar people. All right, and 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 that's the children of Israel, but it's all starting with the elect, because right now two thirds of our people, all right, they're doing, uh, uh um, they running around here acting like Generation Z babies, man. You know, doing all types of wickedness, but the elect, the Lord is going to, uh, you know, that, that that's the Lord's uh, precious uh, remnant, man. OK, now all Israel is going to eventually be saved, but there's, you know, there's something sp special and particular and peculiar about the elect of the nation of Israel, the governing body. OK, the ones that are going to sit on thrones, man. You know, that because we want, you know, ultimately, we just hope that we're, you know, we just want to be saved. But if we're of the elect, if we're of the 144, that's a particular seat that you're going to have, man. All right. That's a, you know, that, that that's special. You're of that governing body, man. All right. And that's all this is is going to be uh, set up in the world to come. That's why the scriptures say Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. When Yahweh when it, when Yahweh Bashim Shai establishes the world of Jacob, it's gonna be a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay. And the kingdom of heaven will be on earth. Okay. It says, "But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of Him who have called you out of darkness unto His marvelous light." And when we were called out of darkness, we were called out of this world. We were called out of the ways of this world into his marvelous light, which is this holy truth. Which ultimately separates us from the filth of this world, man. OK. It says, which in times past were not a people, but are now a people of the most high, which have not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. And right now we're in that that grace period. Where the Lord is having mercy on us. But what are you supposed to do with your grace period? You're supposed to occupy until Yahweh Shai comes. You know, so when the Lord does come and if you if we're of that number and we get new bodies. OK, and, and the law, statutes and commandments are written in our inward parts. Like it's like like the Lord promised us in Hebrews eight. 
then we're going to be immortals, man. Now, what fool in his right mind wouldn't want to be immortal, man? What fool in his right mind wouldn't want everlasting life? The two thirds. All right. And we pray that we are not of that number, man, because that's a dangerous place to be in, man, to catch that judgment. But we want to be a part of the, the that 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 royal priesthood. That holy nation. You know, now, ultimately, you Israelites are you, you two thirds, you still Israelites, you still a part of the nation, but you're going to have to die of, uh, of grievous deaths. And you're going to have to catch judgment from the most high and be tormented in these latter times. We don't want that. That's why we're doing the works of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right? We're not doing this for shits and giggles, man. We're doing this because we understand that the Lord gave us a gift. And we also understand that we can be of His elect. And that's a beautiful thought to have, man. Okay? So, so we understand the importance of this thing, man. All right? This, this is not a joke, all right? This is serious business. This is prophecy. Uh, Revelation 5 and 10. It says, and has, made un and, and has made us unto our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Okay? And we shall reign on the earth. Because we have ruling class mentalities, man. You know, we want the nations to be up under us. And if you don't want the nations to be under you, then 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 you don't then you don't have the right spirit. You don't have the right mindset. See, when 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 Yahweh Shai's kingdom is established, okay, the other nations are not gonna be on the same level as us, man. All right? It's not gonna be no such thing as equality. Like Esau pushes this bullshit where uh uh one nation under God <laughs> uh how's it go? And justice for all, you know, now we're going to do things in righteousness. Don't get me wrong. We're not going to uh, commit adultery against the uh, other nations. Why? We're not going to do things like that because the law, statutes and commandments are going to be written in our inward parts. So if a man of another nation has a wife, we're not going to sleep with his wife like Esau did us. Sleep with your wife, get her pregnant and have a damn baby. We're not going to do things like that because the law, statutes and commandments are going to be the standard of the earth but we will do things in righteousness and you other nations will be subject to us you will pay tribute to us the scriptures say that our days i mean our gates are going to be open continually and you're going to bring us all the the goods that you have if we want them you're going to bring them to us your daughters that are not betrothed you're going to bring them to us we're going to be able to pick which ones we want it's going to be our kingdom, man. Okay? That's how things are going to be established. All right? And we're going to do everything in righteousness, man, because we're going to have those law, statutes, and commandments programmed and in, programmed inside us to where we, we won't be able to sin. All right? Uh, Revelation 2 and 25 and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will I give power over the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even if I have received of my father. Okay, they shall be broken to shivers, man. So the other nations are going to be underneath us. All right, and that's and guess what? That's all a part. Of us being kings and priests. Okay. That's all a part of it. Because if we're established in our kingdom. Who's going to be the servants man. <laughs> who's going to be the servants. The other nations are going to be the servants. And Esau we going. Yo you better. Matter of fact you ain't even going to be able to pray. I was going to say you better pray. That the most high allows us to take our foot off your necks. But the most high ain't going to let that happen. Only time, you, only time your ass going to get rest. Is on that Sabbath day man. As soon as that Sabbath day is over, our foot's going to be right back on your damn necks. I'm talking about you Edomites, you devils, man. All right. Isaiah 45 and 4. All right. 
Let's start at three. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I am that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, and Israel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. And what does it mean? What does the word Yashar Allah mean? It means to be a prince of the power. So the Lord surnamed us, Yashar Allah. He is a prince of the power. So we're going to go back to those ways. Excuse me. It says, I am the Lord and there is none. I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. And we understand that there's no other power besides Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The scriptures even tell us that the gods of the nations are idols. Okay? So we understand that the true living power is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? We understand that now. Now, when we were in the world, before the Lord called us into this truth, you know, you may have believed in some other stuff, but now we don't believe in that crap. We believe that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is the one living true power. Okay. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 31. It says, and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. And what's going to happen after the Lord gathers his elect? The destruction is going to hit. Okay. And when we're when Lord willing, we're of that number when we're beamed up and we're and we go into those ships. That's when we're going to get those new bodies, man. And then when we come down, when New Jerusalem comes down, that's when everything is going to be established in his, in his uh, proper order. That's when we're going to take over the world. Okay. And the Lord, the Lord's law, statutes and commandments are going to be implemented in the earth. Because America, Babylon, the great is going to be destroyed. This is going to be like the forbidden zone and other parts of the earth is going to be destroyed. OK, and you elites, we're going to pull you out those damn bunkers, man. You're going to get pulled out of those bunkers, man. And we're going to reign on the earth. OK, the earth is going to be cleansed and you heathen, you know what you're going to do? You're going to build up our walls, as it says in Isaiah, the 60th chapter. OK, that's what times we're coming into, man. All right. And if you don't believe this, you don't have to believe this. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is going to avenge us. Lord willing, we're of that number. Luke 18 and 7. And the Most High, sh um, and shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? And where is he going to find the faith? Within his men that kept his word. <laughs> and he's going to avenge his elect speedily, man, because we've been crying day and night. We've been sighing and crying to the most high. Yahweh about Shimmy Yahweh Shai, man. Who's the ones that sighing and crying? He's his elect. You other niggas out there talking about some <laughs> don't waste your time waiting on the Lord. Who, who the hell are you, man? You're going to be destroyed, man. A lot of these niggas going to be destroyed, man. I'm talking to you guys in one body in Yahweh Shai. You gonna have that. You gonna have the nerve to call yourself that name, but you telling people not they, they're wasting their time, calling uh, waiting on Yahweh Shai. The Lord's gonna have a ter terrible judgment for you for you people, man. And through the Spirit, I'm gonna leave it there. You know, I said enough. You know, I had a, about five or six precepts written down. Just a little short lesson. Uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, like I said, man, we're looking forward to being kings and priests. You know, on the earth, and we're we're gonna say that humbly because we pray that the most high gets us through this thing, man. We pray that he brings us through the fire, man. We pray that he beams us up, and we pray that he writes his law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts. All right, and most importantly, we, we pray that we're of the elect. All right. So I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And once again, special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. Lord willing, this is edifying. It's the Brother Zion signing off. Shalom.